Welcome to another edition of Book Tips Tuesday, and um, today we're going to be talking actually about how I manage my Kindle books. Um, some of you got Kindles for Christmas and are exploring a whole new world of ebooks. Some of you like it, some of you don't. Some of you are overwhelmed, and um, some of you have been in a while and just it could be a little frustrating. There's a lot out there and. Um, you have a Kindle loaded with 2,000 books, and, or, you know, three, even just 300, and it's overwhelming. So, um, when I first got my Kindle, I was it's so ecstatic at all the free stuff, especially some of the older ones. Um, I've been a fan of G.A. Hinty when I was, uh, especially in my teens. Um, they were challenging books, and ones that have a great adventure, but not too much romance, and not too much... Um, but in more, just very dumbed down kids vocabulary, so I really liked those in my teens. Um, but, so I was able to get a bunch of those free, and, um, just, there were so many books that these authors were offered for free, which was, I was so excited about. Um, there were authors that I wanted to try for so long, but, you know, even if I was able to get a discount book, it's still, you know, especially for me, you know, a lot of money to know if I'm going to like it or not. So I was going to able to try these authors and find the ones I loved, the ones I didn't like at all. <laughs> and so um, I was, the, it, it was opened up a lot to me that I was really excited about. But um, going crazy with free books and stuff did have consequences. I know, you know, I have. Excuse me, some I just have very good lunch. <laughs> um, but we, you know, there, there's so much on there, and I had so many. I was so overwhelmed with the amount of books and no idea how to get through it. And I almost deleted everything that I knew I didn't, you know, I didn't know I loved, just because I, you know, I, I had too many on there. I didn't know what to pick. So. Um, how do you, I manage it, <laughs> the, all those books? Well, first of all, um, I've slowed way down on what free books I get. Um, if you watched um, last week's um, tip, uh, you learned my process for finding books I like. And even with free books, I do that. Um, I, I actually have started, because I'm working about Two years ago, I started to think that I was going to be on a book freeze. I was go it was going to last one year. I was not going to buy any books, and I was going to um, just read what I had. I'm sorry, I started that in 2015. Um, this is my third year of actually doing that, and I haven't completely frozen books, but I've bought probably about 10 to 15 books in two years, um, most of them nonfiction. And or books I found for a really, really good deal. And why I did that is I had so much. Um, books that I bought, books that um, I picked up for free, and God was really convicting me that sometimes I've just had so much and I'm not content with what I had. Um, and this is my third year going into it, and probably next year, if, I, if uh, finances are able, I will buy at least one book a month because I am missing getting some of the continuities of the series I really want. Now, um, I did cheat last year a lot because I, I had access to a library, so I kind of felt like I was cheating because I would sometimes get tired of books and went to authors that I love. So uh, libraries are a good way to get around making that rule for yourself. But um, the Kindle can be a great way, but do... Make sure that you're picking up books, even the ones for free that you think you'll like. Um, I, um, I'm i going through my Kindle right now, um, really working through. I actually, I set my book, my, it to sort by, um, I just realized TV's reflecting in this one and that could be really annoying. So let's take that away, or at least turn it. I like my family pictures, but don't worry. Be more, uh, I'll set them up later. <laughs> A little distracted. Anyway, um, but I set my Kindle sort by title, and I've, for the last couple of years, just worked through books. Now, I'm sorry, 20, 
16, I sorted by author. 2017, I sorted by title, and I'm going to do, in 2018, I'm going to continue the title um, sort because I find it a fun way of getting variety. Um, and working through the stuff on your Kindle is good. Picking what you love, um, sorting it and making a method for how you're going to get through it. Um, Obviously, it's not 100% because I have some series on there, and you want to start with book one, even if the title for the second one starts with an A. So, yeah, there's that to keep in mind. Um, the third thing is to delete things you never you know you're never going to read again. Uh, you have to go onto your Amazon digital management and um, delete. Uh, this year, I delete. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Uh, at the end of 2017, I sat down and I deleted over a hundred books from my Kindle. Now, some of them were some my mom had read and knew weren't good, but uh, a lot of them were either what books I had started or read and just knew either I didn't like them or would never read them again. They were okay for one time, but just nothing that I was going to reread or recommend or hand to somebody else to read. Yeah, it wasn't even that good. There were so many others I'd have them read first, so... Keeping, you know, it down is also good. Just keep it on top of deleting what you're not going to reread. Um, and another good way of managing it is, again, to prioritize. Um, and this could be an ever-changing thing. There are some books on my Kindle that go up in my priority to read because a friend of mine has read it and just loved it. Or, again... You know, somebody reads one that's on my Kindle and they say, wow, this kind of content was in there. And I go, I don't want to read that. So keeping up with something like Goodreads or following some book bloggers is a great way of helping to manage your Kindle as well. Um, another thing that I like to do is I keep on my Kindle what I haven't read or um, and then what delete things just off the big Kindle, not from my cloud that I've already read. That way, it's less cluttered. Um, it it helps me to visually see what I have left to read. So, there's how I manage a Kindle. If you have other ways that you manage your Kindle books, um, comment and let me know what that is. And um, if you are posting videos or a blog post on your tips uh, for readers, let me know so I can come to your blog and follow those <laughs> posts. Uh, I'll see you next week for another Tuesday Book Tips.